These camera controls can be accessed with a single mouse or an interactive whiteboard using the green control icons at the upper left edge of the display. The orbit icon allows the user to click on the display to rotate an object. The pan icon allows the user to click on the display to pan the camera left and right, up and down. The zoom icon allows the user to zoom in or zoom out on an object. Pressing a button and moving the mouse down zooms in. Pressing a button and moving the mouse up zooms out. The home icon moves the object back to its original location. The purple icons provide the access to basic dissection controls. The purple icons provide access to the dissection tools. The top purple icon, Peel, allows the user to move individual pieces of the model, in this case, the wing. The stick icon allows the user to replace previously peeled objects by clicking on them. The explode icon allows the user to remove several objects at the same time. By clicking on a wing, all elements of the butterfly's wings are removed. These objects can be reassembled by selecting the implode op icon and clicking on an element that has been removed from the model. The next icon is hide. This allows the user to hide elements of the model, such as the wings, or the skin. Hidden objects can be replaced by clicking the unhide op icon. Objects are returned in a last in, first out order. The transparent icon is used to make objects see-through. This allows the user to peek through objects to observe underlying features. Transparent objects can be made opaque by selecting the opaque icon and clicking on a transparent object. The blue icons in the lower left hand corner of the screen are used to access the text features. The top blue icon, Label, turns label overlays on. As the user moves the pointer across objects, their labels are displayed. The user can change the language associated with labels by clicking on the Cyber Science label at the top of the screen and then clicking on the gear symbol in the window. In this case, we will change the labels to Arabic. Now, Arabic labels are displayed as we, move, as we mouse over objects. Using the Mark icon, the user can place labels on the display for use in presentation sessions. These marks now move along with the model as the camera angle is changed. The user can remove marks by reselecting the marks icon, highlighting the label, and then clicking on the small x. Annotations can be added to the display using the bottom blue icon. These annotations might include titles, user-defined labels, functional descriptions, text blocks, or quizzing features. A second video will be provided to offer details on how to produce, save, replay, and distribute sessions.